Welcome back, this video is going to be focusing on the survey website Vindale Research and will hopefully show you how to make the most money from the site. I have previously made a video reviewing the website Prize Rebel. That video currently has nearly 7,000 views and it was requested to me on that video that I make a similar video for Vindale Research, so here it is. For the purpose of this video, I have been using Vindale Research for the past few days and I will be sharing with you my first impressions, my tips to make the most money and whether or not it's actually worth it. It's best to start with one of the most influential parts of a survey website in my opinion, and that is the minimum payout. It is a target that you need to get to in order to receive actual money. Prize Rebel's minimum payout is just $5, so it's going to be interesting to see how it compared with that. I was therefore surprised to see it was a minimum payout of $50, which is one of the largest thresholds for this type of website. This therefore raises the first point, and that is you should only use this website if you know you can be dedicated to get to the $50 mark. If you are unsure, it's probably best to just try it for a few days and see if you are making money at a good enough rate to get the minimum payout. This is what I'm hopefully going to help you with in this video. My initial impressions were that this is a very simple website in terms of things to do, which depending on your preference might be a good thing. I certainly like that the pages aren't clogged up with too much information and that it is easy to navigate. We'll start on the studies page and once you've signed up, the link is in the description, you will likely see a few survey opportunities on this page. The options I have vary quite a lot. Some surveys are quite high paying and others aren't really worth it. My advice would be to stay away from the ones that offer less than 50 cents as they won't be worth your time. There are a few high paying options to choose from and they should be updated with new ones every day. One other piece of information you can gather from this page is how long each survey should take you. This is something that isn't always clear on other sites. So how do you make sure that you qualify for as many surveys as you can? My first tip is to not rush. A lot of survey providers will try and catch you out with trick questions. Usually these questions are near the start or towards the end. However, sometimes they could be anywhere. It is common for the trick question to be in a tick box style question. For example, it may ask you to put agree strongly for one of these types of questions. Taking your time is fair enough, but you want to be earning as much as you can in as little time as possible. Qualifying for more surveys mean you will earn more, and because that is the main way to make money from the website, that is what the primary focus of this video will be. I'll be talking about other ways to make money from the website later on in the video, but for now we'll be focusing on surveys and what works for increasing success rate and therefore your income. Okay, so a great example of question is this one. This is on the first page, and this survey is about DVDs and home entertainment and something like that. So when you get asked questions that are, you know, relatively related to those sort of things, you're going to want to make sure you tick those boxes or you're not really going to qualify. Another common question is what sector you work in. Uh, and survey providers and most surveys will ask you this and they hate people that work in stuff like marketing and journalism because that's in a way related to surveys and if you're maybe a competitor or you're somebody that could comment on this survey or find out stuff I mean if you're a journalist and you're doing a survey about up-and-coming technology you know putting that in a on, a, on your website is gonna bring in a lot of views and it's gonna harm the uh, people that are providing the survey so they're gonna wanna stay away from people like that so you wanna answer this honestly but you know if you're gonna put marketing or journalism or stuff like that you're probably gonna get disqualified pretty much immediately. Highest level of education again, it's best to be honest with these sort of questions, it's unlikely they're going to disqualify you for an answer like this unless they're specifically looking for people that have left university or something like that. Um, then if they disqualify you for something like this it's probably best because you know you're going to be answering something so specific to do with a, a high a higher level of education. This is just to determine a bit about you Okay, so we're starting a new survey here. Before you begin this survey, please answer the question below. And you, it's, be, it's best to be honest with questions like this. If you don't want to be specific, um, it actually doesn't want a specific date. So you're not too bad. you just got to put in a, a month and a year. And this is just to uh, classify your responses. So it's best to be honest, but if you don't want to be quite completely accurate, then you don't. I don't think you have to be. But obviously, this is giving me the op this isn't making me be completely accurate either. And here we are, actually in the survey now. So hopefully, we've qualified for it. 
Thank you for agreeing to participate in our survey. Your opinions are very important to us. Please remember your responses will be kept strictly confidential and only reported in aggregate. So, again, when it's asking you where you're from, it's best to be pretty uh, accurate and uh, honest with those. Okay, so questions like this are really common. Uh, how many hours a week in total do you spend doing each of the following activities? It's probably best to be generous with these because they're obviously looking for people that do this sort of stuff. So be a bit generous uh, with how many hours you put. You're probably more likely to qualify that way. Okay, so that's what I put. I've probably been a bit generous with some of those. Um, but it's probably best to be. We'll see if that um, gets us into it. Which of the following video game systems do you currently own and have used at least once in the past three months? Uh... You know, it's best not to lie, because if you're going to be asked a question about something you don't have or own, then, uh, I, what? I don't use... How can you ask me if I play video games on an MRI s scanner? How is that even possible? Okay, so I, s I presume that um, the MRI... <laughs> I can't believe they put that. But I, I think that's trying to catch you out. So if you're going to go through and spam stuff like that to get through the survey quickly... Um, you know, you can't play video games on an MRI machine, although I'd, I would like to see it. Uh, so, obviously, stay clear of that box and answer this uh, as honestly as you can. Maybe, again, be a bit generous. Okay, so, have you ever heard of eSports? Um, I have heard of eSports, so I'm going to put yes. But even if you haven't, Google it, and then you can click yes. So, uh, you know, if you click no, they, they clearly want people that have heard of eSports. So, always click yes to that question. Do you consider yourself a fan? Again, even if you're not a fan, just become a fan for this survey because it's clearly what they're wanting. So, put, yeah, we'll go with yes very much. Which of the following esports activities have you ever participated in? Um, watched, yeah, I could do that easily. Attended, no, I haven't. Uh, participated, no. Uh, the likelihood of them doing a survey to find out people that have took part in esports is really unlikely so I don't think uh, it's gonna kick me out for saying I haven't participated in that okay how recently have you done the following they're gonna want it to be quite recent so I'd stay clear of those boxes you know for obvious reasons heard of or played it's best to put um, if you wanna go through these quick tip for boxes like this is to just tick heard of but not played it because I think for most of these it's gonna be that um, and then go through each one quickly and if you have played it in fact I don't think I've played any of those I mean I've played some of the old Call of Duties um, other than that no I haven't played any of them and also actually I've played Rocket League but if you check each individual box um, even if it's just quickly there might be one that's trying to catch you out here there isn't there might be one that says please click never heard of it for this category so stay uh, on the lookout for things like that. Maybe five minutes in, I've been doing this slowly, obviously, to talk over it. But we've congratulations, you've qualified to participate in the survey. So we know we've only just qualified, but hopefully the survey won't be too long. Earlier, men earlier you mentioned you watched esports on average. How many hours a week in total do you spend? Okay, again, see your best guess is fine, so it's best to be generous. We'll put five. Okay, so now that we've actually qualified for the survey. Um, we don't really need to worry about some of our answers. They, you know, we, they know we're interested in this sort of area, so they're going to be wanting to hear our answers. The only thing to watch out for now is on things like this. We need to look out for questions that are trying to catch you out. All right, so we're nearing the end of the survey, and as you can see, uh, you can tell that because we get into how good this survey was. Um, we'll give it a nine out of ten. Not perfect, but pretty good. And that's it. There's all the questions we have. That was it. So that was about five minutes on from when I last left you, sir. The survey itself was relatively short. We got 86 cents for that survey. Uh, you know, it's it's not an amazing rate of money that we're getting, but it's better than nothing. And over time, it'll build up quite nicely. So that's uh, my advice for qualifying for surveys. I hope it's helped you. We'll move on to another area of this website next. And probably the next easiest way to make money on this website is through reward codes. So you'll pick the codes and questions up on the Facebook and Twitter page. Uh, and I'll leave a link to all the necessary 
websites in the description so you can take a look for yourselves. The next page on this website is the panel offers page and you can basically sign up or if you've already signed up you can use some of the other survey providers on this page. You can see my survey panel, reward TV, all other ways of earning extra money and if you complete all these three checkboxes on the right hand side uh, it's likely that you'll earn more from that. You won't, you know, you won't get like a boost on surveys or anything like that but you might qualify for more surveys and it might give you more surveys to do so that's the panels page uh, referrals are pretty self-explanatory you can share your link with you know friends family and things like that and you'll earn five dollars you'll only earn five dollars i think if they sign up and complete a survey so it's not just for signing up they've got to be active as well and finally the bonus page so this is just bonus opportunities you can see there's quite a few different ways to earn extra on this page the facebook page and the blog and stuff like that again i'll put links to those in the description so you can check them out yourself they'll have like tips and stuff and the opinion polls as well I th i'm not exactly sure how these work but if you answer the poll i think you stand a chance of winning a small amount of money now when i say small amount of money i mean really small but considering these are every day and you know there's not too many users on this website so you do have a good chance at winning some of these um you know you can answer these however you want and the daily question is another way you can earn a little bit extra on this website the today's question is what's your favorite lamp a strange question but if you answer the question in the reply box at the bottom of this page you have a chance to win 50 cents which is a nice little bit of extra uh, cash if you're doing surveys as well and that concludes the video unfortunately the website is a little bit limited so there wasn't too many ways to actually show you how to make extra money but I hopefully have helped you qualify for more surveys and shown you some of the other ways you can make money from this website so whether you've already signed up and you're looking for advice or whether you haven't signed up yet and you're wondering whether to are or not and i hope this video has helped you make your decision or improved your chances of getting extra money so thank you very much for watching leave a like if you have enjoyed the video or found it helpful uh, subscribe if you want and i'll see you in another video thanks for watching